Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a review of the brand new perfume from Bulgari from their Splendida range and it is their new Bulgari Splendida Patchouli Temptation. Um, I'm going to be taking you through what this smells like, my impressions of it, how it compares to the others in the Splendida range. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes here. I have lots of other videos, hundreds of them, um, including other ones on Bulgari, which I'll leave down below in the description box, along with links to where you can buy this perfume in the UK, Europe, and USA. And if you are a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. I really appreciate it. So, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll probably know that I am a big Bulgari fan. I think they make really lovely perfumes, both heavy ones and lighter ones um, across the whole range. I think their bottles are always high quality. They look really classy. I like them. And I just really like their handbags as well. And I really want to get one at some point. So I am definitely a fan. I used to recommend them all the time to people when... I used to work selling perfumes because they're not a super common brand. Everyone is wearing Bulgari, but they're very like high end, very expensive looking and smelling, but they're reasonably priced and much cheaper than something like a Chanel, but often they are better for lasting and a lovely smell. So the Splendida range all come in these same shape bottles. They're all different colors. And this new white colored one is all about patchouli. I would say that the patchouli in this is one of the most strongest patchoulis I've smelled in a perfume. Patchouli is used a lot in really popular perfumes. My favorite perfumes, Jimmy Choo, YSL Mon Paris, but it's used as one of the ingredients, like as the base, to help make something last. It's not like the complete star of the show. In this one, it is the star of the show. It's really, really quite strong. It's that patchouli oil, super patchouli smell. What they've also put in here is Oris Root, which gives a warm, almost like a minerally element to it, like a stone. And there's also some muskiness in here as well. So what it does is it gives a sort of irisy, powdery, patchouli feel and it feels slightly oriental slightly spicy um, but it's mainly a musky patchouli it's really 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 strong it's an eau de parfum but this is performing you know like a parfum or like an intense really intense version which a lot of the bulgari perfumes do that are eau de parfums they're often really strong really good for lasting and projection so this is definitely for someone that wants to really smell themselves for others to be able to smell the fragrance on them when they waft by it definitely smells high-end and classy like all the Bulgari perfumes. You know, it smells expensive. I would say that it is probably more of a autumn winter scent than a spring summer scent because you know that heavy patchouli and muskiness isn't really what I think of when I think of like a summer's day um but I'm sure you could wear it whenever you want that's just my opinion and I think the white bottle is really pretty with the sort of Bulgari logo on the top and it comes in the classic iconic um, Splendida boxes. If you're not familiar with this Bulgari Splendida range, I would definitely advise checking it out. They have a whole bunch all dedicated to a particular fragrance note. So you have one that's really all about the tuberose, that's a blue bottle, really heavy tuberose. You have the red bottle, which is magnolia. There's an iris one, there's a rose one, and there's jasmine noir, which um, I think is one of the best jasmines if you want a really heavy jasmine. It really is strong. Your sort of alien fans would like that. And they're all really heavy, really intense, and in these beautiful bottles. So it's a really 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 good perfume range that's not sold everywhere it's not really heavily advertised definitely I'd say underrated like underknown considering how good it is 
So I'd say this one is definitely Soaky approved. It's a great quality perfume that's well worth the money, um, but you need to be someone that wants that heavy patchouli, that heavy muskiness, and really wants people to be able to smell your fragrance and for it to last very, very many hours. So guys, let me know if you've managed to try this yet. I know it's not available everywhere, but it is in some places. I'll leave the links to where it's available down below. Let me know what you think of this range. Do you have any of the others in the range? Let me know in the comments. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video.